Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. So this week I want to talk to you about optimal decision making. And the reason I want to talk to you about this is because we make decisions up throughout our entire lives. We make decisions about what we want to eat, what we're going to do during our day, how hard we're going to try at things, when we're going to give up on things. We make decisions about how friendly we're going to be to people, how unfriendly we're going to be to people. It goes on through all every aspect of our life, all the time. And quite often we're unaware of the decisions we're making. And our decisions are made from a number of different places. They're made from our subconscious, from the data that we've collected throughout our lives that influences how we feel we'll get our needs met in the world. And I've spoken about human needs, and if you want to be reminded about that, I'll put a link in the show notes below. But I'm not going to go into it too deeply today. What I want to speak about is the decisions we make when we come from a place of fear or extreme excitement. And those decisions we quite often make in haste. We make them from reaction rather than what we want to create in our lives. And those decisions are the ones that can derail our lives the most. Because whenever we act in fear, we always create the thing that we fear. The same is kind of true of high excitement, except obviously when you're excited, you're not necessarily going to create the things that you're excited about. Um, what you're going to do when you're in that particular state is you're going to create sort of chaos, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> what it comes to. And what I want to teach you or what I want to share with you today is when you are in a heightened state um, like that, like fear or defensiveness or anger or um, excitement, it's not the best time to be making decisions because the decisions you make in that time are motivated by your subconscious. They're motivated by your need to survive. And that need to survive comes from the ego. Um, it is not from your higher self. It is not for your best life. You will not be creating what you really want in your life. You'll not be creating the future you want. You'll not be creating to the best of your abilities if your decisions are made in fear, in anger, in defense, or in high excitement. And it's really quite simple, the things that you need to do to try and get yourself into the opt optimal state. I kind of see it as a bit of a wave as we go through life. You know, we have our highs and we have our lows and the optimal state is the state in between those. It's the state when we're not feeling any high emotions, whatever those emotions happen to be. There's a peace, there's a calm, there is clarity to that space. And the best time to make decisions is when you're in that optimal state. Now, obviously, things happen in life. We don't stay in that optimal state or very few people stay in that optimal state all the time. And our emotions and events outside of ourselves bounce us about. But what I'm sharing with you today is to try not to make snap decisions. And everything within you will feel like you need to make a decision especially when you're feeling extreme fear, extreme anger, um, all of those things, you'll feel like if you don't make a decision right now that your life is going to be in danger or that something dreadful is going to happen. But actually, more often than not, nothing will happen. If you give it a day or two, nothing dreadful will have happened and you will have the time to recalibrate yourself, get yourself into the optimal state and to start making decisions from there. So the first thing that I would do if I was you, if I realised I was in a fear state or an anger state and that I was feeling like I needed to make a decision, is I would take a step back, try and find some quiet space away from whatever it is that's causing the emotions and the situation that you currently find yourself in. Uh, take yourself for a walk, um, play music for yourself, go for a drive, whatever it is that you feel will help you to take it down a couple of steps. The same goes for high excitement. It's all wonderful to be excited, but don't make decisions in that space. Again, wait until you have recalibrated and equilibrated before you start making those decisions. The other thing to do um, when you're in that space is just to allow yourself to feel whatever it is that you're feeling. If you're feeling upset or hurt or angry, allow yourself to feel those feelings without resistance. Try to step out of the chatter that's going on in your head and just feel 
physically whatever it is that's going on in your body and remember to breathe. Breathe very deeply, not just into your chest, but right down into your stomach and try to allow your body to relax while you do this. If you find that your mind is going into why it is you feel like you feel or into the story about what made you feel the way you feel or how you need to get out of it or the conversations you need to have, try and pause. Try and redirect your focus onto the sensations in your body that you're currently feeling. Because once you allow the emotion to be, then you'll find that it actually dissipates and passes because your emotions are causing, the reason for emotions is to try to get you to act. Um, it's a survival mechanism. But once you've acknowledged your emotion and you've given it space and, and given it, allowed it to pass through, then it has no necessarily need to continue to be there because its purpose is to notify you that something isn't or is working for you. Once it's done that, it's done its job. When that's passed and when you've managed to bring yourself down into a neutral space, then you can start looking forwards as to what you need to do and the decisions you need to make. And always remember as well that the decisions that you, know, that you need to make right now could be for one or two steps along the path. You don't need to find all the answers immediately, but you need to be able to be in a space, a calm space, where you can choose what are the next steps, what's the next action that you need to be taking in any situation. And sometimes there might be no action at all, other than just to bring yourself into that neutral space. So to make optimal decisions, you need to ensure that you aren't in any high emotional state. If you are in a high emotional state, find space, breathe, allow the emotion until it dissipates and you find yourself back in that neutral, um, optimal state. And then, only then, can you start making decisions. I hope this helps you, if not now, at some point in your life. I hope you've enjoyed listening to it. If you have, please subscribe or like. And if you'd like to find out more about my coaching or any of my online programs, then all of that will be down in the show notes below, along with a link to the episode that talks about human needs. Have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.